Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you guys are doing really great and so we will be looking at what is currently happening across the Caribbean and after which we will be taking a look at what the ensemble members have to show. So before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, and so we're going to be starting off uh, taking a look at what is happening across the main development region. So off the coast of Africa, there are two tropical waves. They are not producing a whole lot of activity, but some convection in association with them. And the reason they haven't been producing a whole lot of activity is because of the dry air, which has been dominant for some time now. So as we look at the dry air map, here we can see that there is all of this activity to the south of it, but there is still a dry environment around. So uh, it's going to be a struggle for these thunderstorms to stay intact. However, conditions are likely to get more conducive. And uh, with the more moisture and reduced dry air, then we will start to see a bit of potential for these tropical waves moving across the region to develop once they make their way off Africa. And so let's go back to the satellite imagery going to northern South America. Here we can see that there is that area of deep convection that has spread from Colombia going over into Venezuela. And uh, there's also some more shower and thunderstorm activity in some spots for Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. We don't see much happening today, but uh, there could be some rainfall activity as we head to this afternoon. Nothing too crazy, but for northern Guyana, the southern part of the country has a much lower chance of rainfall through today. As you look into the vicinity of the ABC Islands, nothing much going on at the moment. There is some cloud cover, maybe with some isolated showers and thunderstorms across some spots in Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, maybe the Grenadines as well. And so as we head through today, we might see some more thunderstorm development in the vicinity of Lesser Antilles, uh, which might bring a bit of rainfall to some spots, but a whole lot of rainfall activity is unlikely as we head through today. Let's go further up north, and here we can see see that uh, there is a lot of activity still to the north of Hispaniola so there is a surface trough which has developed in the area so near the Turks and Caicos Islands uh, there is all that activity that has been quite persistent for some time and uh, even over in parts of Haiti just offshore of Haiti right there we can see that there was some thunderstorm activity that is dissipating right now and a similar story for Jamaica western parishes received a pretty good downpour of rainfall my area did and it was just long awaited and overdue so i'm really happy about that and hopefully today we might receive some more rainfall hopefully other areas especially eastern parishes actually receive some substantial rainfall because it has been very dry in some spots there is still uh there is drought in some areas so it would be really good uh if those areas could also receive a pretty good downpour so let's see what happens later today Across most of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, nothing much happening. Similar story over in Central America, some thunderstorms in some spots, but nothing too crazy this morning. And so now we want to go ahead and move on to the rainfall maps to see what the GFS and Euro are expecting and so we're starting out with GFS and so we can see here that most of these areas where we see these yellow and orange shadings is uh, across parts of eastern Cuba going to Jamaica the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as well as uh, Hispaniola Puerto Rico and going down into the mainland territory so for Costa Rica Panama parts of Venezuela and uh, Colombia as well well, and even further up into some spots in Mexico and Guatemala and even El Salvador, there could be some substantial rainfall activity. So again, in the Caribbean, there are still those tropical waves moving through, so they could help to enhance some activity across parts of the basin. And then uh, a lot of the, the daytime heat is going to be contributing to a lot of the afternoon showers and thunderstorms that will develop today. And Hispaniola has been receiving quite a bit of rainfall and with continuous heavy uh, downpours that can increase the risk of flooding and so guys should there be any flooding uh, in your area please do not take any unnecessary risks and please stay as safe as you can. Things get drier for the lesser Antilles but there could still be some showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon and again ABC Islands not much expected. Going on to the Euro model here we can see that Euro 
here is showing something quite similar. Uh, some A lot of that rainfall activity across parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, parts of Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and even Puerto Rico as well. So not for everywhere, but some spots could receive a pretty good downpour. Uh, you're not expecting as much rainfall for Jamaica and eastern Cuba compared to GFS, but nonetheless, some rainfall activity is still likely in these spots. And then across some parts of Central America, but the rainfall chance would get higher for Costa Rica, Panama, and heading into parts of Northern South America. So uh, that is what the models are expecting. And now finally, in terms of the uh, ensemble members for both GFS and Euro. So this is as we're going to be heading out into the next 10 days so around the end of Saturday of next week and so here we can see that within this time frame there are these different clusters of ensemble members expecting that we could see future tropical waves try to develop across the main development region so pretty interesting here and uh, Euro has been very consistent about something developing and this wouldn't be surprising as it is expected since we are heading into the more active period in August and going into September and then as we look at the GFS and Salba members, we're seeing here that they're also hinting that we could see some developments over the next 10 days. And so only time will really tell what's going to be happening. But uh, again, that dry air is pretty much dominant right now. And things will gradually get more and more conducive. And uh, it's really the only inhibitor that is so significant because as we look at the sea surface temperature map, we can see that it is pretty warm at the minimum most systems would require 26 degrees celsius and here we see 27 and things get warmer as we head further to the west 29 30 degrees so that would definitely support development and the wind shear is not really a problem at the moment either so it's really that dry air that is uh the main issue right now when it comes on to development so the next name to be used for this hurricane season is emily so we're yet to have emily and maybe that name will be used head into the next uh two weeks time or so so only time will tell what the eventual outcome is going to be and it isn't only the uh ensemble members for gfs and you or hinting at something as we take a look at other models let's go on to the canadian model one of the tropical waves making its way to the north of the caribbean with all that activity but there we have another that is getting itself together out there. So Canadian expecting that uh, maybe by uh, next weekend we could see a tropical storm out there. And the ICON model is also consistent about it. So the 6Z run, that's the latest update, it only goes out to the next five days. So by Tuesday, here we're seeing all this moisture hinting at that development. So uh, these models have been quite consistent about this. And let's see if that will be the actual outcome. And I'm here to keep you guys posted at all times and so that is what i wanted to share with you in this update i hope you found this to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be with wise